Here is a little secret about narcissists that a lot of people will disagree with. They never, never truly forget you. They may pretend to have moved on with another source of supply. They may pretend to be all happy without you. But you are the last thing they think about before going to sleep. And you are the first thought that comes across their mind upon waking up. Why is that though? Let's find out in today's episode. Hi, I am Danish, a narcissistic abuse recovery professional. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today's episode is all about understanding why a narcissist never truly forgets you. If you're eager to know the answer, please make sure to subscribe because your subscription to the channel helps in spreading awareness about narcissistic abuse and promoting healing. Before we begin, here's a small announcement for you. I have launched an upgraded version of Master Co-Parenting with a Narcissist course. If you are dealing with a narcissistic ex who is making your and your children's life a living, breathing hell, then this may be something you may want to check out. Because this program will not only help you understand how to defeat a narcissist at their own game, it will also equip you with all the tools, all the skills necessary to connect with your children at a real deep level. Click the i button above or the link in the description of this episode to get instant access right now. Primarily, there are two reasons why a narcissist may not be able to fully detach themselves from you and forget you forever. Number one, you were their premium source of supply. Maybe you're somebody with a lot of influence. Maybe you have a lot of money and you saved them. You made their life easier than how it was. You brought them recognition. Or you're somebody who is really empathetic, caring, compassionate, considerate, understanding. You're the one who loves to save and you try to save them. You try to give them all the benefit of doubt you possibly could. You gave them chances. You kept your mouth shut. You just thought maybe time is going to change everything, which is why you gave more. The more they took, the more you offered. You brought life to their life. They are dead deep within. You know that. You made them feel alive. Maybe there is no other source of supply like you in their life. Probably they have not met someone like you. And they're searching for that high, for that level of compatibility. There is none to be found in any narcissistic relationship. But what I'm talking about here is the, that connection they felt with you, the trauma bond of a narcissist, how they idealized you and how they devalued and how they got hit out of making you fall for their lies again. The cycle was the cycle of addiction for them and they cannot let go, which is why every single thought about you reminds them of that high they used to feel because of your presence and now they can't. Back in their mind, they're always comparing their new source of supply with you. And in most of the cases, they can't get what they have as an experience stored in their body and brain. They're always trying to find uh, something better than that. But most of the times, it's either okayish or not as good as it was with you, at least for them. So they feel dissatisfied, which is the reason why a lot, lot of narcissists devalue their different sources of supply by saying, my ex was better than you. My ex never did that. My ex never said that. She did this and he did this. There's this constant comparison. And that comparison is used to devalue, to belittle and humiliate the other person they are trying to bond with. Number two, you have given them a big narcissistic injury, either by exposing them or by taking a stand against them. You know, narcissists want their facade to stay intact forever and they want their partners, their children or whosoever is their supply to keep contributing, to keep maintaining that image. They want the source of their supply to become an extension of their lies. You can never have a different voice. You can never take a stand against them, but you, 
you have broken and shattered those chains by exposing them, by telling the truth, either to them or to everybody. They had fooled. Now there is nowhere to go. There is nowhere to hide. By exposing them, you have destroyed their power and control. Now people do not believe them easily. People can feel and see the falsehood of this rotten soul. And what does that mean to a narcissist? Total destruction. They need others to believe them so that they can exist. They need fuel. They need supply. Everybody is leaving them. How can they now keep going on? And that has left a mark. Every single time people reject them or there is some scarcity of supply, they can't find somebody to prey on, they remember and curse you. They feel real anger towards you but can't take it out. By taking a stand against them, you have proven they're not as powerful as they like to think they are. You have shown them a mirror and most importantly, you have sent a direct and a very clear message across that you have zero control over me which is unbelievable to them especially if it is a narcissist who has been authoritative and majorly has controlled your life now you are saying you're nobody how come that is a real shock to them and they can't believe it they revolt they rebel but ultimately they give up which is what happened in my case when i took a stand against my narcissistic father then the psychopath he was cornered like a little mouse there was disbelief there was shock and ultimately all of that changed into extreme anger which he cannot take out because i am no contact and that is your biggest biggest revenge on them you take a stand if you can and then you withdraw you go away you leave them with that anger which consumes them day and night and that's the reason why they keep thinking about you they cannot truly forget you so those were the two reasons let me know in the comments which one is applicable to you which one did you resonate with the most and an announcement before you go i have launched an upgraded version of master co-parenting with a narcissist this program will not only help you defeat them at their own game but also protect yourself and your children from their further abuse. If you want to get instant access at a discounted price, click the i button above or the link in the description of this episode. With that, let's bring this episode to an end. Thank you so much for tuning in. Do not forget to let the healing begin and continue.